would you give us your view on this, uh, you know, the VC Silicon Valley world subject that we can't stop talking about, uh, and I'll frame it as, I is there a bubble? Do companies still want to go public? LinkedIn did, Airbnb hasn't, you're the lead yeah. investor. What's your, you know, where are you on this? You with Mark Andreessen or against him? <laughs> uh, I think with Mark, it's always both. Um, and <laughs> he likes it that way. Yes, right? he does. Yeah. Um, and so, let's see, the first thing is, look, we live in this networked age. Uh, companies can grow, can have unprecedented growth rates and interesting businesses with high margin rates and possibly network effects. So there's some businesses that even when you look at the current frothy businesses, the frothy valuations are still actually cheap when you look back at them two to five years. The reason why you have an overall perception of kind of froth in a bubble is because almost certainly too many businesses are being treated like they're going to have those growth rates, they're going to have those margins, they're going to have them. And so, so overall valuations are going, and then some of them, that they're going to look cheap and the other ones are going to look expensive. That's a nuanced story that's actually difficult to get, but that's the reason why it's not just a pure bubble, yeah. but also uh, why the people's reaction saying, look, it's really frothy is also accurate. Well, I don't think there's a public market bubble. I think yeah. the public markets are very rational about, about stocks. If you look at the way Workday is valued, it's not that different than the way Salesforce was valued at the similar stage uh, seven or eight years ago. Private, so if, there's, if there is a bubble, it's in the private markets, and if, and if it explodes, it's just going to explode over the venture capitalists. I don't think the rest of the markets will be that impacted. And you have no sympathy for, the, for your fellow venture oh, capitalists? Oh, you know, I'm still, I'm still an advisory partner, so I do, uh, <laughs> and I do have a couple companies I still sit on the boards of Pure Storage. And, Cloud era that I think have great promise in front of them, and you know we talk about that that phenomenon. But the other thing in terms of also going public is actually, in fact, one of the the playbooks that Silicon Valley has learned is you actually want to build as much momentum in the company while it's private, and so in effect, uh, you don't just have you don't try to get to going public as soon as possible. You make a strategic choice as to when that is. When is it a good right thing for marketing? When is the right thing for customers? When is the right thing for capital? As opposed to that's the success milestone you need to get to.